in this part 2 video of anti cancer drugs we can start with first classification of anti cancer drugs alkylating agents of cytotoxic drugs in previous part 1 video we had discussed about the definition classification and toxicity of different cytotoxic drugs and the mechanism of action of anti cancer drugs in general so let's start with the first classification alkylating agent which include nitrogen mustard ethylamine nitrosuria and methyl hydrazine triazine and alkylane sulfonate and we will discuss some of the important compounds of this classification in this video so as the as we mentioned before the mechanism of action of alkaline eating agent is as the name indicate they will alkalinate the dna or rna so by administering alkaline eating agent day, agents they will produce a highly reactive carbonium ion so this carbonium ion will alkalinate or they will transfer the alkyl group or they will substitute the alkyl group to the cellular macromolecules by forming covalent bond and this covalent bond will uh, cause cross linking as well as abnormal base pairing or secession of dna stands and this will lead to inhibition of dna synthesis so this is the uh, site of actions of uh, alkylinating agent it will prevent the synthesis of dna from nucleotide by alkylinating the uh, dna molecules now let's have uh, drugs some uh, pharmacology of some important drugs mechanism of actions of all the alkylinating agents are same so first drug is mechlorethamine it is also known as mustine hydrochloride this is usually administered only by iv root and the important ADR are nausea, vomiting, hemodynamic changes and these are mainly used for Hodgkin as well as non-Hodgkin lymphoma. These are the two kind of uh, carcinoma which are present in the immune system. Now coming to the second uh, type of uh, or secondary drug which are, import, which are an important drug in the alkylinating agent that is cyclophosphamide. This is a alkylinating agent and this is a cytotoxic drug which have an prominent immunosuppressant property. An important ADR is alopecia cystasis and the important drug interaction is the chlorophenicol will retard the metabolism of cyclophosphamide by the enzyme inhibition. So thereby it will increase the level of cyclophosphamide in the blood so it may cause toxicity in our body. This is mainly used for treating solid tumors. Next alkylinating agent is melphalan. The important ADR are bone marrow depression and associated infection due to the uh, different immunosuppression, diarrhea and pancreatitis. Then it is mainly effective in multiple myeloma and it is used also used in advanced ovarian cancer. Another alkylinating agent is nitrosuria. It will cause nausea, vomiting, CNS effects as adverse drug reactions. Since it is a highly lipid soluble with wide range of antimicrobial activity and also it will cross the blood brain barrier which is very effective in meningeal leukemia as well as brain tumor. Now coming to next class of cytotoxic drug that is the platinum coordination complexes like cisplatin, carboplatin and oxaliplatin. So uh, the mechanism of action of this platinum coordination compounds like cisplatins are they will hydrolyze it intracellularly to an reactive moiety which may cause cross-linking of DNA and usually it can react with the SH group of cytoplasmic as well as nuclear protein and the effect will resemble as that, as that, that, that of uh, alkylinating agent as well as the radiation. So that is the mechanism of action of cisplatin. Now coming to the adverse drug reaction, this is an highly emetic drug. So if we are using cisplatin as an 
cytotoxic drugs in anti cancer treatment we have to administer an anti emetic drugs along with it and renal toxicity another important adr is renal toxicity tinnitus deafness sensory neuropathy hyperuricemia or other problem associated with the cisplatin now these are mainly used for the treatment of metastatic testicular as well as ovarian carcinoma and this is widely used in many solid tumors like lungs bladder esophageal gastric hepatic and head and neck carcinomas now coming to the next class of cytotoxic drug that is anti metabolites like folate antagonist uh, furin antagonist and pyrimidine antagonist what will be the mechanism of action as the name indicate they are analogs which are related to the normal component of the dna or coenzyme which are involved in the nucleic acid synthesis so these are the structurally similar molecules as that like uh, purine and pyrimidine nitrogen bases so they will competitively inhibit the utilization of normal substances and get themselves incorporated forming a dysfunctional macromolecules so that is the mechanism of action of anti metabolites and they will act in this stage like uh, uh, the purine uh, nitrogen bases as well as pyrimidine nitrogen bases will combine with the ribose or deoxyribose molecules to form and phosphate to form nucleoside and they will act at the this steps of conversion of nitrogen bases to nucleosides now coming to the first drug that is methotrexate which is an folate antagonist uh, which is uh, very very structurally similar to the folic acid and which is the oldest and highly efficacious anti neoplastic agent and this methotrexate will act by inhibiting dihydrate folate reductase which is an enzyme responsible for the conversion of dihydrofolic acid to tetrahydrofolic acid since this dihydrofolic acid is an essential coenzyme required for the dn uh, de novo synthesis of purine synthesis as well as amino acid interconversions so this methotrexate will inhibit the dihydrofolate reductase and thereby it will block the conversion of dihydrofolic acid to tetrahydrofolic acid and they will act at the specific uh, uh, action at, uh, will kill the cell at the s phase in addition to that uh, this dihydrofolic acid inhibition this methotrexate also will inhibit thymidylate synthetase and as well as uh, dna synthesis primarily affected by this methotrexate so this is the mechanism of action of uh, methotrexate as well as another uh, uh, pyrimidine analogs like fluora 5 fluorouracil so uh, this uh, dihydrofolic acid from the folic acid uh, we will uh, we will synthesis dihydrofolic acid and by using dihydrofolate reductase this is converted to tetrahydrofolic acid so methotrexate will act at this enzyme thereby it will prevent the conversion of dihydrofolate to tetrahydrofolate and the 5 fluorouracil they are the enzyme uh, they will inhibit an enzyme thymidylate synthetase which is an enzyme responsible for the conversion of tetrahydrofolic acid to dihydrofolic acid by using uh, ump2 uh, tmp like uh, uracil monophosphate uh, thymine monophosphate so uh, 5 fluorouracil will act at this site and uh, methotrexate will act at dihydrofolic reductase enzyme now what are the uses of methotrexate it is mainly used for the treatment of non hodgkin lymphoma breast bladder and head and neck cancer and osteogenic sarcoma and it is a, a prominent immunosuppressant drugs which are used for the different immune disorders like rheumatoid arthritis psoriasis as well as many more autoimmune uh, diseases autoimmune disorders now another important followed antagonist is pemetrexate which is a new conquer of methotrexate these are primarily target enzyme thymidylate synthetase even though they have some action at dihydrofolate reductase enzyme now mechanism of actions are mucositis diarrhea myelosuppression which are very similar to uh, which will cause by methotrexate 
but these are main painful itching and erythro uh, will cause painful itching erythromatous rashes which are mostly involved in the heart and feet so this syndrome is known as hanford syndrome which is common to common as an adverse drug reaction of pemetrexate and uh, in order to uh, treat this myelosuppression we have to add folic acid and vitamin b12 uh, pre treatment for uh, using along with the pre metres pre pemetrexate sorry pemetrexid induced immunosuppressions now coming to purin and agonist like mercaptopurin and thioguanine they will inhibit the conversion of purin no nitrogen bases to rna or uh, dna uh, guanine nucleotides so they will inhibit the conversion of inosine monophosphate to adenosine as well as guanine nucleotide and these are the building blocks for rna as well as the dna they also uh, inhibit uh, they also cause feedback inhibition of de novo purin synthesis and uh, this will cause uh, different adr like bone marrow suppression and mercaptopurin may cause nausea and vomiting than 6 uh, thioguanine and there will be a high incidence of reversible jaundice then hyperuricemia occur in both uh, and can be reduced by using allopurinol now another purin antagonist that is fludarabin it is a new purin antamol anti metabolite which is phosphorylated intracellularly to active triphosphate form which then inhibit the dna polymerase as well as ribonucleotide reductase enzyme thereby it will interfere the dna repair and as well as they will incorporate it to form dysfunctional dna that is the mechanism of action of fludarabin and it will cause chill fever myalgia arthralgia vomiting after injection then myelosuppression and opportunistic infection as adverse drug reaction and this is mainly used for the treatment of lymphatic leukemia non hodgkin leukemia that is uh, recurred after treatment now coming to pyrimidine antagonist like 5 fluorouracil the mechanism of action is by in reversible inhibition of an enzyme thymidylate synthetase uh, so this enzyme will prevent the conversion of di deoxy uridic acid to deoxy thymidylic acid thereby uh, it will cause non availability of thymidylate so it will cause selective failure of dna synthesis and 5 fluorouracil may get incorporated into rna and thereby it will interfere with the rna synthesis and function which may cause the cytotoxicity of 5 fluorouracil now important adr are bone marrow suppression they may affect git which will cause myelosuppression mucositis mucositis and uh, uh, diarrhea nausea and vomiting peripheral neuropathy uh, like hand foot syndrome these are mainly used for the treatment of many solid malignancy especially colon rectal stomach pancreas liver urinary and head and neck carcinomas now another pyrimidine antagonist that is sitarabin which will act uh, by uh, they are they are cited in analogs and these cited in analogs are phosphorylated in body to corresponding nucleotide which will inhibit the dna synthesis and this triphosphate of sitarabin is an inhibitor of dna polymerase and as well as they will block the production of cytidylic acid which has a intermediary product which are responsible for the synthesis of nucleotide and it will cause different adr like bone marrow suppression leukopenia cytothrombopenia thrombocytopenia nausea mucositis and diarrhea now coming to the uses these are mainly uh, used only in uh, leukemia as well as lymphoma and primary use is the induction of remission in acute myelogenous as well as lymphoplastic leukemia in children as well as in chil uh, in adult it is also used for the blast crisis in chronic uh, myelogenous leukemia and non-hodgkin non hodgkin lymphoma this is all about the anti metabolites in another video next part we will discuss the next class of cytotoxic drugs that is uh, microtubule inhibitors etc